is us coming to sell them. What? The grey buttons and red shoes, do you know that? Look at them. Yeah. Look at the f***ing... Well, the bottoms did half blend with the gravel. I was like, it's the trainers, isn't it? What that? Yeah, blended. Can't see my legs are either. Glossy. Where's he gone? Hey, you should angle him up. Yeah, back in with that one. <laughs> that ain't his back. Welcome back to another episode of Carp Side Mark 1 Zero. You're joining us here at Norma's Cross in Peterborough, another one of Embryo Angler's Lakes. As you can see, we've got Bangs back. Welcome back, brother. Good to be back on the Thank bank. Uh, we got here yesterday morning, late morning. Um, straight away, took a little walk around. I've fished here many times before, but these two haven't. So we had a good walk around the lake. Um, Bangs got off to a nice wet start. Very wet start. Well done, mate. One of us decided to go walking in the sliders. With socks. With socks. With socks. Rather than talk about it, we'll show you the little clip. Where's your shoes, babe? In the bar. look at your feet, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's having a mare. He's swimming twice already. Bit wet, mate. What do you reckon? <laughs> I'm going back. Yeah. You can, yeah. Oh, I'll just bring this sock out as well. It comes fishing in the sliders. Oh, no. Yeah, boy, full try for the middle there. Oh, mate. Your turn, Joe. Oh, for f***'s sake. Who's the idiot now, eh? Who's the idiot now? You, bro. What mate, you, you can get through that. It's your bit, lad. Get on, no, I don't give a shit. I have my boots in the back. Trying to get in sacrifice, mate. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, you Not even, even a squid. Right, that's not clean water. <laughs> I noticed. It's like cow piss. So yeah, as you can see, nice wet start for Bangs. You would do that, brother? Just about, yeah. Nice. Fresh socks on. Oh, yes. So yeah, we got here, uh, um, after a little walk around, um, Jenny decided to put the drone up, just have a little fly about, see if we can see anything. And uh, yeah, what did you see? Well, unexpectedly, a landing net with a fishing yeah. down the margin. One of the most bizarre things I've seen while yeah, fishing. Well, yeah, like I'd never have thought I'd see that to be honest with you. Yeah, well, it seems to so be one of those things that's happening at the minute. Like, obviously, last session, as soon as we got on, we had to have a rescue mission. And we come in today straight into another rescue mission on this session. We yeah, eventually, uh, after a lot of leading about and messing about with the bike boats, managed to get them netting. Uh, the fish, fish, fish had gone away anyway, so this is sad. But I got a new landing net. Bang's got a new landing net. <laughs> he forgot his as well. <laughs> Let's not forget to mention that. It all worked out quite well in the end. I did for a reason. I thought, why carry more gear when we get a landing net here? <laughs> <laughs> nah. See that tactical up here, up here. That's not what I like it. So, yeah, eventually we uh, got a bit of fishing. Do you think you did a little bit of float fishing? See that on the surface? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately. Um... A dog came along and scared everything Spooked off. everything away. But yeah, it was, uh, it was all on the top yesterday, probably like the office weekend we've had so far this year. So that got them all up on the top, but it didn't happen. It won't happen for us. Like South Jelly, did you do what you do? Uh, I went far margin, 
some nice spats over there off the weeds, yeah. clipped up over there, nine and a half wraps on the table before Baines does. <laughs> yeah, I didn't produce anything though, unfortunately. I was uh, just fishing the note at times. Oh. Just fishing the note at times up at the end peg, uh, managed to get one in the note, played it, and it walked off just because I was trying to land it. So that was one lost fish for me. Yeah, and, uh, same. Jelly's lost one in the note as well. Middle rod went and kited right, pulling in past the reeds, went under me of a rod, went too high with it, it's gone over the top of the reeds, bumped me off. Nightmare. Yeah, that's two lost fish. Not a great start, but Baines. I had a great night. Another, well, another step, quiet night for Baines. Slept the whole night through perfect. <laughs> Do you know what? Tell my alarms off to save the batteries, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, as you know, Baines might have to take a dip. Some of you might remember this little clip from uh, episode one. Maybe we'll get some fish next time. That'd be nice. Or we'll definitely up our game. And I'll, I'll make this I think, now. Yeah, you need, to, you need to up your game. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't catch a cop next time, I will get in the lake. <laughs> So yeah, there was the evidence, you've all seen it, Baines, if you I, don't catch a fish this time, you're taking a dip. I barely remember saying that at all, I mean... The, yeah. evidence, the evidence is there, mate. I know, yeah, that's, that's the issue. You've already, had one, you've already had one quiet night, you've got one left to pull it out of the bag, what's your plan? I'm genuinely thinking now, it's really hot, do we get in the lake now? I'll do a gamble on tomorrow <laughs> tonight. Sounds like I'm off trying to catch a car. <laughs> and Jenny, what's your plan for the last day, evening? Well, because we've seen them in up in upper layers, I've switched two rods over to Ziggs. Still got one on that far margin, hoping for a bite from there, but I'm just going to go with the Ziggs for now. I've got one at eight foot, one at nine, fishing in ten foot of water. Yeah. I'll just have a plan well, about it. Otherwise, yesterday afternoon and evening, it makes sense, mate, though, it's uh, yeah, again, I'm just fishing the night time, so I'm just going to fish up the same top peg where I had the run last night to try and see if we can get the same going again to try and make a fish for the camera. Yeah, uh, stay tuned, and you might get to see Baines taking a dip. Hopefully. With the pressure now applied of trying to find a fish, I realised with the warmer waters the fish should be higher up in the layers, so I've now gone on the hunt trying to find them on top and just scouting around. Eventually I find the fish around bowls of swim, and with him not fishing the day it was a perfect opportunity to fly some floaters out there and try and get them onto a feed. My chosen bait today is krill floaters. I've had loads of success before with, trying to, with surface fishing with these. So I'm trying to fire a few over, just spread them around and hopefully get the fish to take them. I've got a few fish feeding, so I cast over the top of all of them and slowly bring it into them, hoping that one will take. After endlessly trying and trying and trying, still nothing. The pressure now loomed. Am I taking a swim? I think it's time now to go back to my swim and work out the, the margins and what I'm going to do now for my next plan. I don't want to go swimming. <laughs> oh, work it, baby. Oh, yeah, work it. <laughs> right, so we're going into our final evening here at Norman's Cross. Um, I haven't been fishing today, I've just been mooching about the, the area, doing bits of footage, things like that. Um, I know what Jelly's been doing, go take a look at this. Mm. 
<laughs> That's exactly how I found him. <laughs> so, uh, Baines, as you know, he needed to take a dip if you didn't catch a fish. But uh, as it goes, you have to let some of you down. He's gone and had two, not just the one. That's why I didn't catch one, I caught two. Well done, lad. So let's go into a uh, video clip of those now, show you those fish. It's done for the weeds. Shaking, shaking. Oh, did it come off? Last it. I think so, yeah. Nice, I'm still. Left green, mid, yeah? There he is. Sly, look at that. Taking all the weeds out. And again. There he is. Don't even lie down the line. Come on. I'm not getting in no lake. I knew it. Oh, buzzing. I knew I'd get one. So my first carp of this session, uh, caught on a farm margin in a little bay on a white fruity pop-up on a Ronnie rig. And he's 9'2", he's not the biggest carp, but he's my first carp of the year. And to be fair, I can't moan at all. Nice little common. Yeah. And this also means I don't go in the lake because I've caught a fish. Hopefully get a few more tonight. But yeah, I'm more than happy. Chop the bits. Yeah, yeah. I think I've lost him. No, I'm pretty sure I've lost him. Oh, I've freed him. Ah. Yeah, it's camping my yeah. In the reeds, there he is. Yeah, the same one, surely. No, it's not. Come on. Cost me another lead, but I've got another fish. I can't complain too much. Two for the Asian angler. Two. Absolutely buzzing. If that, yeah. Second fish. I'm definitely not swimming tonight. Same rod, back on the spot. Less than 20 minutes, if that. Not the biggest carp, he's smaller than the last one, but it's another carp for me. So I'm definitely not swimming now. 
And yeah, I mean, he'll grow up to be a big boy later on. But right now, I'm more than happy. Same spot, the exact same rig again. Ronnie rig, white pop-up. Uh, it's about a 15 mil boilie, if that. And um, yeah, it's producing the right results. More than happy. Shoot fucking back off. Up a bit, second carp. So, yeah, sorry to disappoint some of you. Um, pretty disappointed myself, but it doesn't look like Baines is going to be taking a dip on this session. But yeah, congratulations, mate, on the fish. Uh, first fish to mark one zero camera, and uh, obviously, first fish for this session. Well done, buddy. But yeah, we're going to uh, chill out now as we're going into the night. We're going to fire up the barbecue. Get some food down us, and then uh, when you get more rods out for the night, hopefully I can get one in the night, and hopefully Jay can get some as well. Fingers crossed. Let's get that barbecue on. Cue the barbecue. We're going to throw another shrimp on the barbie. Oh, <laughs> lovely, mate. <laughs> With the evening starting to draw in, we sat down to fill our bellies and just chat rubbish as we watch the sun go down. Both get fish now tonight, all three of us. Then we keep the other in the pot, definitely. Hopefully, man. So, Franson, are we trying to frog his legs? No, no, no. Can you still do it? Do you think? Fucking mad as well. No. Trying to watch. No. I'll do it. I'll do it. Fuck it. I'll do 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 it. Yeah. You leave Eric alone. <laughs> <laughs> I bought the nice box from. The fuck you first, I came to a head. But he's in half of box from a chocolate pudding, anyone. That's how I feel about eating the snails and that. <laughs> Can't be that bad, man. No? Nah, I'd rather not, man. <laughs> Frogs, legs, and snails. I'd literally rather just not eat them. Oh, come on, Joe. No. Yeah, that's and something you like. Right, well, I want to eat, is it? If oh, someone brings it there and says, oh, go on, have a drink, you got to have a drink, you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> you have not see no evil here, no evil, mate. <laughs> I'll just walk off, fully blank. Two dogs get 10 out of 10, I can't wait to do it, but like, in my head, like, f*** me. Why am I doing this? Yeah, but I would do it. Yeah, oh, yeah. But it's what you get the shell for. Are you not meant to? <laughs> <laughs> crunch, 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 crunch. crunch. <laughs> can't like a crunch. Waiting for that sunshine again, won't we, Bouncy boy? Splendid.
I went to bed feeling confident of a bite from this swim. I'd fished these spots in the past and had fish, and having lost one on the first night of this session, I was feeling pretty sure of another bite. But instead, I worked with a very still silence, almost as if someone had spooked the fish away by surface fishing in my swim all afternoon. But anyway, I decided to have a steady pack up, have a coffee, and sit the morning bite time out. Then suddenly, I get a call from Banks to say Jelly just lost another fish. And as always, I'm willing to stir it up. Yep. Has he really? Mate, I reckon that's him. Yeah, that's his fault, that. How many has he lost now? Three? Ah. It's got to be, mate. It's got to be the angle in that. You can't lose three in succession. <laughs> Sweet. I'll be down soon. In a bit, mate. I decided to pull the rods in and go and see how Paul and Barry were getting on. But by the time we got down there, Jelly had already packed up and was making tracks with his barrow. Here we go. Fish on. That's rough pushing through that mud. Look at Tad deflated. Look at Tad deflated, man. Oh. I'm having enough of these now. <laughs> You're fing Gary Glitter. <laughs> oh. Me, you've churned that to fing man. <laughs> Woo! That's all flat. Yeah. I fucking don't want to move. You need a power barrow, mate. Right, this is normally a decent barrow. So again, did you? Oh yeah. If I'm full, I can run out of baby. My sliders. I'm up in first. I'm on again. Same rod again. Here we go. Got down the bottom there. Slipped over. I'm on my back. I was like, oh my back. I was like, I can barely breathe now as well. <laughs> We've all lost them then. Said about it's just the small ones, isn't it? Mate, you missed it. Jello barrel. Who's a foot? He falls over. He fing screw is. What he fell over his barrel? His barrel fell over. He's fing you, mate. He's not happy when he has it. You gotta laugh. You gotta laugh. Let's do fish down there. That one wants it then. Don't want to upset him anymore. Oh. I literally had it on for about a second as well. Did you see it? No. No, I might literally dropped back. I f***ing reeled, got contact, lifted. It went to pull. I've adjusted the clutch. It took a click and then f***ing bumped. Yeah, it's good then. It's shit, isn't it? Not all oh. or something. Mate, it did 38 foul. No, I said to you, if I had like a tent or something like that, but still, I don't care what it was, it would have been nice to have f***ing it in the last minute, do you know what I mean? Especially <laughs> when I'm not f***ing, probably half hour from packing my rods away. Yes, it's done well. He's a happy bunny, cause he's a happy bunny. Cause he's a happy bunny. That no one can deny. <laughs> can you hear that? That's the sound of Jelly's soul breaking as his barrow falls over again. So, 
fucking chair as well. Yeah, that fucking easy. That's like a So the bloke's recording you right now. Oh. Do you know what I can't wait for, Joe? It's to see your face when that is a frog's leg. Give down, yeah. That would be hilarious. What's funny? Pa sent, what? sent me a picture this morning. Cock soup. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, what the f is that? French for you, mate. So that could be something else to your list of needs to try. Oh, that's a chicken cock, like a cock, cock, a cock a hen, what do you call that? Cock roll. Cock a roll. As in, cock a doo doo doo. Right, okay, here's one, mate, I had one of them. When we're coming out of my house one morning for work, man, I've walked out as a chicken in my garden. Literally, I says, I'm like, Mom, it's chicken in Ah, oh, it's Tom's, don't worry, like it's a normal <laughs> thing, like. No, stand back on the edge of the path, bit. What? <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to go right in the grass, log. Just come to the edge. Yeah, it's very f specific, oh, isn't it? Yeah, uh, perfect. <laughs> that's it, that's it. <laughs> 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 that's it. It's a tad bit warm, isn't it? Oh. Well, I stand here, though. That's, that's all jelly is now. Massive, bro. F dench. It's one weekend of wheat, a big size. <laughs> well, so on the, the last day here uh, at uh, Norman's Cross, very quite not for me. Jelly's like a mix between deflated and livid, I'm not quite sure. Lost another one in the night, so that's two lost fish for jelly. Uh, Baines, tell us about your little slip in the night, mate. I had a bed for the night, uh, half on my alarm went off. Got my sliders on, ran out, about five liters max, bang, fell over onto my back. And I felt like I broke my back and I winded myself. I then managed to pick myself back up, get onto my peg, and the fish is still on, struck into it, um, played a little bit, I forgot my glasses, I couldn't really see much, my floodlight's covered in mud, and uh, yeah, so I lost that one in the reeds. So yeah, that's it, that's, that's, that's these two done for this, this day, uh, we we'll let these get off now, it's Easter Sunday anyway, so let them get off all day. I'm going to head up to the top lake, there's two lakes on this venue, so I'm going to do a few hours, finish the up on the top lake, but I'll tell you a little bit more about them in a little while. But for now, it's time for these two to get home. We'll see you soon. Happy Easter! Till next time. Norman's Cross was excavated by the London Brick Company in the 1950s and 60s, who later filled it for its own LBC Social Club in the 70s. It was later run by Potter's Bar Angling for a few years during the 90s, or had been left untouched until Embryo took it on a few years ago. The remnants of its history can still be seen as you walk around the venue today. Although the lakes sit alongside a busy road, it's easy to forget that once you become immersed in the nature and the abundance of wildlife that surrounds the area. If you sit quietly enough, it'll all just happen around you. I was sat filming the muntjac and had a hair running across the lens. At the same time, the red carts are being chased off by the crows and rooks overhead. Well, our time here at Norman's Cross is coming to an end. Uh, I just wanted to have a little chat about this venue. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, there are two lakes here at Norman's Cross. I've now came up to the top lake. Uh, that's a couple of hours of trying to come up for the whole time. Um, but yeah, I've um, got to know this venue a little bit over the last two or three years. I've done a bit of volunteer work here with Embryo, um, restoring the back lake, uh, building new pegs, and just getting the place fishable again. Um, yeah, I've had some nice fish over here as well, I'm going to fish it while working. Um, 
obviously I've had some of the smaller fish, but as well, I've had a couple of nice moves at around £24 and a common at £25. Um, it's just a place that I've been able to bring my son fishing as well and spend a bit of time and make memories with him. Um, but the, the settings are just like beautiful, the nature and the wildlife, just so relaxing to sit in, and especially this time of year when it's all coming along. Yeah, there's all sorts going on here. Um, but look out about the future of the venue. Um, this top lake here will be run as a syndicate water, as with most of MBO's lakes. Um, but the back lake, which we fished over the weekend with Jelly and Baines, um, that's going to be next year, I believe, taken over by some of the Gulru lads. And they're going to be running that as um, a tutorial kind of lake for the next generation, next generation of anglers coming through and teaching them a bit about fishing. And, so yeah, that's something to uh, keep an eye out for in the future. I'm sure we'll be hearing more, more about Norman's Cross and the Guru lads here. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's our session coming to an end. Uh, before I go, I just want to go, give a big shout out to a good brother of mine, Sarvodi. Um, let's get you on the show, mate. I know you've been eager to get on anyway. I know we spoke about it. Um, but let's get you on, mate. Let's get something sorted. I know Jelly and Baines would love to see you as well. It's been too long. Um, but yeah, big shout out to my brother, Sarvodi. Uh, real lifesaver. Literally helps out my life out of Iraq. Um, very good friend of mine. Let's get you on the show, brother. Yes, yeah, the episode coming to a close. I'm going to do another couple of hours here. Um, if anything happens, I'll keep you informed. But otherwise, that's the end of another episode from Mark One Zero. If you enjoy what's been going on so far with the channel, please hit that like and subscribe. Help us out with veterans, help the channel grow, and give us some support. Much appreciated. And for now, we'll see you on the next show. And it's Mark One Zero out.